हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल मीटरिंग नॉलेज टूडेज टॉपिक इज एडवांस मीटरिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट बेसिक्स ऑफ एडवांस मीटरिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सो प्लीज स्टे विद मी आई विल ट्राई माय बेस्ट टू क्लियर यूर ऑल डाउट रिगार्डिंग दिस टॉपिक सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो this topic i have divided into five parts so that we can understand it easily in the field we have different types of smart meter that measure and calculate the consumption of energy data events power quality data and demand related informations in india these energy meters using three types of communication technology Uh, the first is rf based smart meters second is plc based smart meters and third one is cellular based smart meters so these three technology mostly used in india in all type of smart energy meters so what happen here when these smart meters measure and record the energy consumption of data it send these data to next entity and in case of rf or plc communication technology that are using in smart meters these data transferred to data concentrator unit which is second layer of the cmi system in rf and plc there are limitation of sending the data to long distance these technology can only send the data for short distance like 100 meters or 200 meters that's why we are using a data concentrator unit for sending these data to long distance and if we have cellular communication module inside the smart meters like you can see here these are cellular meters m3 and m4 these meters have capability to send their data directly to communication network and further to next entity so in case of cellular communication module it doesn't have the requirement of data concentrator unit it directly send their data to communication network and if we are using rf or plc communication module inside the smart meters then we have to connect one data concentrator unit in distribution network and this dc you can collect the data of many meters like 300 or 400 meters but it can but it only depend on the capacity of the dc so once this dc you collect the data of smart meters it also send this data to to communication network by using cellular communication module inside the dc you dc you also have two communication module one is rf that communicate with rf meters and in case of plc we need different dc you here that connect with plc meters and then connect to communication infrastructure so using this communication network the meter data of these all meters sent to head end system this is the fourth layer of the cmi system so the main work of head end system is to connect with these meters and take the reading of meters on demand as well as on schedule basis also it has capability to change the configuration of these all smart meters like if we want to upgrade the firmware of meters we can connect and disconnect the load switch of these smart meters using this entity also we can configure the display parameters on demand reading schedule based reading power quality related parameters events and alarm these all configuration we can done using this head end system so basically in this complete system the head end system is using like a client or a smart meter is using like a server so this ami system is not only meant for reading the energy meter reading it also capability to read the water meter and gas meter reading 
these meters are also use different type of technology to send their meter data to head end system so once the data is collected by head end system these data transferred to next entity that is mdms this is the fifth layer of this system the data collected by head end system is basically raw data so it need to convert in useful data so we use for this purpose mdms meter data management system so this entity is using for billing purpose load forecasting validation edit and estimation so this is the basic structure of advanced metering infrastructure which is currently using for deployment of all smart meters in india under rdss scheme so i hope this information are able to clear your doubts about advanced metering infrastructure so this is the this is a basic structure of mi there are many more things about this system features and functions so thank you so much we'll see you in next video please do subscribe my channel to watch similar type of video related to advanced metering infrastructure smart metering smart meters and solar systems thank you so much